Hi, Juan. Oh. Good. Good. <laughs> Hi, Olivier. Hi. Good evening, Paul. How are you? Very well, and you? Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm fine. Everything. Good. Everything it's okay with uh, with the picture, the sound? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect, perfect. now. Perfect. Thank you. Well, we, we can start now? Yeah, yeah, we can start now. I'm just fixing my uh, phone a little bit. Okay, perfect. Is it, so is it, uh, how's the weather in, uh, in Chablis? Is it a bit cooler now? Exactly. It's, um, it's a testing room. I mean, the new testing room. Oh, you're in the new tasting room. Oh, right. So, yeah, because last time I came, uh, you were undergoing renovations. Exactly. Now it's, uh, it's finished. Okay, well, great. I, I, I hope you, you, can, uh, you can visit uh, this uh, nearly. Yeah, I hope so too. But, you know, as you know, it's uh, so complicated to travel these days. Exact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too yeah, spe bad. Spe special period. <laughs> yeah. So, are are people in France uh, allowed to visit this uh, this month, or it's all locked down, right? It's it's all locked down. You you can just uh, do a click and collect. You you pass an order and you you come to to take your order, but no no testing, not a real testing. Okay, what, just... what about your neighbors from other domains in Chablis? Can you it's... go and visit? No, it, it, it's the same. You, you can't do a testing. Uh, you, it's, a, it's a lockdown. lockdown. Mm. You, you, can, you, can, you can do your job and uh, that's all. No, no pleasure. Just a job. <laughs> You, okay. you can you, you can drink some uh, some wine and uh, in your house. It's a, right, it's a, right, right. It's a good solution. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Anyway, uh, good to have you, Olivier, uh, <laughs> from Domaine uh, Bio Simon uh, in Chablis, uh, and you're in your new tasting room. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Why don't you start you. by uh, giving us some background, some history of the domain? Okay, I, I take some notes and I can uh, read uh, that, okay? Okay. Donc, donc welcome uh, everyone. Uh, firstly, uh, I would like uh, to thank the Altaya team for organizing this uh, testing live. It's a pleasure and an honor to, for me to share that with you. It's, a, it's my first uh, tasting live in uh, Instagram, okay? That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> So let me uh, introduce me um, quickly. I'm, uh, my name is uh, Olivier Bailly. I have been the manager and the winemaker for the Domaine Bio Simon since uh, 2015. Okay. So the history of the Domaine. Uh, now, um, uh, as, you, as you may know, Domaine Bio Simon was founded by uh, Charles-Louis Noël Bio at the end of the Napole Napo Napoleonic Wars. Okay, in uh, 1815, it's uh, more 2,000 years, 200 years. 200 sorry. years, yeah. 200 years. Um, the major development occurred after 1945. 45, the wine start uh, to be bottled at, uh, at the 1954. Okay, it's, it's rare for Chablis. Uh, and the, in uh, July uh, 2014, the domain was purchased by the family, Fevlet family, okay, another famous family in the wine. Uh, domain Bio Simon is a reference point in Chablis, and it's a great honor uh, to have the opportunity to develop it. Uh, we are going uh, on uh, in the footsteps of the previous owner, Mr. Bernard Bio. We, we strive to uphold uh, a precise, precise mineral style of the wine. Okay. And today, the domain represents 17 hectares. All, all the parcels at the domain are planted uh, within a two kilometers uh, radius on the left on the right bank of the Seren in the earth of the historical appellation. Uh, the domain uh, currently counts a very range of wine, including four Grand Cru, like Vaudésir, Preuse, Blanchot, 
les clos, as well as four premier cru, like Vaillon, Fourchaume, Montmilieu and Monté de Tanner. We also produce Petit Chablis, Chablis and uh, Chablis Tête d'Or. Chablis Tête d'Or, it's a famous cuvée, uh, is made from a blend of the village uh, highest uh, quality parcels. Okay, it's a selection parcel. Uh, the domain is uh, exceptional because we have the chance to, to work a beautiful appellation uh, with the vineyards that are planted uh, with old vines, around 50 years old. It's, uh, it's uh, old for Chablis. That's okay. the average, 50 years old? Yeah, it's the average of the, of the, of the vine. Um, according to each, uh, to each vintage and thanks to trustful partners, we have also purchasing some grapes of Chablis, of uh, Premier Cru Voloran, and the Grand Cru Valmur and, Vo and uh, Valmur and Bougro, sorry. The philosophy of the domain is uh, producing uh, premium wine, okay, with a great potential of evolution. Um, if you are patient, uh, the wine after seven, ten years uh, will be more complex and harmonious. It's a, it's a secret of Chablis. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, about a uh, few words about uh, vit our viticulture. Uh, today we are not certified in uh, organic, but uh, we don't use uh, herbicide, insecticide since uh, 2015. Okay. And uh, today we have many tools like uh, connected uh, weather station or modeling. Uh, these tools uh, allow us to be more precise in the viticulture. Okay. Um, for the for, for today, the testing um, concerning 2018. Uh, I, I take some notes about uh, 2018 vintage. Okay, so the the winter was uh, rainy. The the bud burst took place than uh, later than uh, than usual, around 24 April. Okay, and spring was mild and dry. The flowering phase began on the first join, um, took place in the good condition, thanks to the warm, and the dry weather, on the, which uh, continues uh, throughout the summer. Um, the harvest took place in excellent condition. We began the harvest on the 2 September, and we, we end the 12 September. The vine were displaying excellent uh, yield condition. The grapes were beautiful, ripe, juicy, and the, the yield were excellent this year. Ah, sorry, the, the, the phone. Uh... It's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, now we can test uh, the first wine, uh, Monte de Tonnerre, if you want. For a few questions on yeah, going back want. to the vineyards. So you okay. mentioned 17 hectares, right? 17 so hectares. The 17, 17 hectares have always been um, with the, the family bio before or, or they purchased over the years? No, it's uh, always a parcel of the family uh, bio, bio family. Okay, so it's the original plots that they bought exactly like 200 years ago? Exactly. Uh, okay. Um, the, the family bought some, uh, some parcel during 200 years, okay? But, uh, right. but uh, since 2014, it's the same person. Okay, okay. I see. Okay. Great. And, okay. and you mentioned that um, you also produce wines where you buy grapes. Um, have they been doing that before 2014 or this is the new uh, venture? No, it's, it's, uh, it's not new. In the past, it's, it's the same. But the new tea is just for three appellations. The, the new tea, it's uh, Voloran, Premier Cru Voloran, since uh, 2015, okay? And okay. Valmur and Bougro for the Grand Cru. But for the Chablis appellation, uh, before 2014, it, it, it was the same. Okay. Okay. But for the other appellation, uh, Fourchaume, uh, Blanchot, Preuse, all, all the other appellation, it's only domain. Okay. Only domain grapes. 
Exactly. And uh, in uh, our QV uh, TED door, QV TED door, it's only domain. D'accord. TED door also only domain. Okay. Only domain. On the best plots of the domain in uh, Chablis. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Donc, the, the, the first one, uh, it's uh, Monte de Tonnerre. Yeah. Donc, Monte de Tonnerre, in a few, few words, uh, at the domain, we have three plots in uh, Monte de Tonnerre. One, uh, one plot on the, on the middle of the slope uh, with the Côte de Chaplot. Okay. Uh, two other plots in the height of slope uh, with uh, Pied d'Alou on the Monte de Tonnerre, Monte de Tonnerre. It's a, a flagship. Okay. And uh, the, the exposition, it's uh, south, uh, southwest. The soil, it's uh, clay with limestone, okay, with uh, white uh, marl, okay. And uh, Monte Tonnerre, it's always uh, mineral wine, precise, elegant. It's a, it's a famous uh, premier cru. I think it's uh, one of the most uh, beautiful premier cru uh, in Chablis. Okay. How big is it in total, Monte de Tonnerre? In, in total, uh, I think it's like uh, 30 hectares. 30 And hectares. you have how many? Two hectares, uh, 15. Two hectares, 15, okay. Okay. And um, on the for Monte de Tonnerre, uh, Monte de Tonnerre, we have the, the more uh, older parcel for the domain, 85 years old in Pied d'Alou. It's a grandmother. 85. 85, yeah, it's a grandmother. And uh, it's very, it's very magic uh, vine. Um, Monte de Tonnerre, I have a, a glass of this bottle. Okay. Are people drinking the 2018 already in, in uh, Chablis or they, they, they are keeping it back because it's not ready yet? Whoops. A, a, phone, a phone call, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> already it's, it, oh, sorry. Al already it's too, it too young to, to drink uh, 2018. Okay, mm. 18, it's, uh, it's not classical vintage than 14 or 17. It's more rich, more opulent than 14 or 17. But for Premier Cru, it's too young to drink now. You, you need, mm. um, you need to, to wait because uh, after uh, five years, the, the wine is more complex. Uh, it's 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 uh, better simply better you 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 mm. do uh, you do uh, are patient um, how how would you rate this vintage i mean is it similar to the warm years like uh, 09 or or 15 um, i think it's it's more fresh than uh, 15 and 09 uh, It's, it's rich, it's, it's opulent, uh, it's ripe, but you have a, a good level of acidity, okay? And uh, the, mm. I, I think you, you need to wait, uh, you need less time than uh, 14 or 17, but uh, minimum five years, okay? If you, if you at want... The, at uh, the Premier Cru level. Yeah, yeah. For, for the okay. Petit Chablis, on Chablis uh, 18... You can drink now. You can drink now. It's a uh, wine for pleasure, for aperitif, yeah. for oyster. For okay, it's it's perfect for that. It's it's uh, fruity. It's uh, it's round. It's uh, it's uh, super. But yeah. for the premier cru and grand cru, if you if you show the, the potential of the of the complexity of the terroir, you you need to wait. It's uh, it's a, it's a secret. Passions. So out of out of your four premier cru, which one would you drink first? Which which is the one that is most uh, expressive uh, in the early stage? 
clearly it's a vaillon. Vaillon, it's, vaillon. it's, perf it's perfect for that because it's always um, open up uh, quickly. Uh, you have the good complexity, but uh, if you if you drink after only two years, three years, it, it's it's okay. It's uh, it's interesting. But for the mont milieu or monte de tonnerre, you need you need more time because it, it's more um, it's it's more austere in the first uh, years. Okay. Okay. And the forchom is in the middle. Yeah, forchom it's on the middle. Okay, because for sure it, it, it's it's round, but uh, you you can drink uh, more quickly than Mont Milieu on the on Monte Tene for me. Okay. Mm. Okay. So would you? I mean, if really someone wants to open it within the first few years, would you decant the wine? Yeah, yeah, you you can because um, in 2018 uh, I don't uh, use uh, rocking uh, after malolactic fermentation. Okay, Donc, uh, for all the, the cuvee. Yeah, for all the cuvee, the the wine uh, the the wine it's uh, it's closed now. Okay, and uh, if you want to drink uh, earlier quickly. You can uh, decant your, your wine. You you give uh, some oxygen, and uh, it's it's better if you if you want to show the the, the aroma, right. the flower. Okay. 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 Donc mon mon tête tonnerre uh, mon tête tonnerre it's uh, it's a beautiful uh, beautiful premier cru. I think it's always uh, the top of uh, of the premier cru in Chablis. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, uh, so should we move to one of the Grand Cru? Yeah, now we... Which one, we, which one would you pick? Um, I think we can try the Blanchot first. Okay. Because uh, Blanchot, the, the soil of uh, Blanchot, it looks like uh, Monte de Tonnerre soils, okay? It's the same, it's a white uh, marl. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, other exposition because it's more uh, east and west uh, exposition, okay? But the third, it's uh, very clear. Uh, and I think it's that the reason the wine is very elegant, very fine, precise, feminine, okay? The, the third, it's not uh, brown than the uh, clos or Vaudésir, okay? It's more, uh, it's more white, okay? I think, and is it the uh, same uh, same elevation? No, Blanchot, it's it's uh, more higher. Okay, it's higher. Uh, on the on the top of the slope. Our, our Blanchot at the domain, it's it's on the top uh, on the top of the slope. Okay, and uh, okay. And for uh, just a precision concerning uh, Monte de Tonnerre, Monte de Tonnerre for 2018, I don't use uh, barrel, okay? It's only uh, stainless, stainless steel vats, okay? And for the Blanchot, I use uh, like 20% of barrel. Not a new oak, but uh, three or four years old barrels. Okay. It's definitely deeper. Yeah, you, you uh, have you have the, the, the boss. depth is really there. Mm. You have the boss. You have, you have the the fineness and the um, the elegant style, but you have um, the longer in the in the mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's interesting. And but it's, of uh, course, it's... I mean, you you can feel like it's very tense. You know, there's still um, a lot to be shown later. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a it's a baby. You, yeah. you okay? You you need uh, you need to to retest this wine uh, after aging, with uh, with a great meal, with uh, great uh, seafood, and uh, yeah. it was a pairing, uh, a good pairing. Yeah, Perfect but the problem pairing. is uh, your wine is very popular, so everybody drinks uh, drinks them very young, and yeah. we don't have any we don't have any old stock. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a. It's a it's a problem. We we do a small production. Uh, for for example, for Blanchot, 
for for 2019 or 2020 uh, we we produce only uh, 500 bottles for the all the world it's a it's a very wow. rare it's a very rare bottle for the for the so pressure. less than two barrels yeah 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 in wow. for, for for 2019 it's only one barrels okay for 2020 this year we we do two barrels okay <laughs> but and in 2018 it's uh, it's better because uh, we we do a, a better a vintage, yield right yeah, exactly we do like uh, nine nine uh, nine hectoliters okay more uh, near to 1000 bottles okay for all okay. the world but blanc okay. show you write uh, va vin right um, or, or... Blanchot, the, the, the age of, uh, of Blanchot, it's uh, 50 years old, okay? We, we, before the, the previous uh, owner put on the bottle uh, Blanchot Vieille Vigne, okay? Vieille Vigne, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, uh, but now we, we don't use uh, this, uh, this Vieille Vigne because uh, all, the, all the domain is uh, Vieille Vigne. Ah, Vigne. Okay, the, the average is like 50 years old. And for yeah. the Blanchot, it's 50 years old. So um, we, we don't okay. put Vieille Vigne, okay? How many plots of Blanchot? For, for us, only one. It's a small plot, so like uh, 18 uh, R. Okay, it's so a point small, one eight. Okay, it's a small. Yeah. It's a small. Uh, it's a small plot for for us. Okay. Okay. And and why did they decide to put uh, Vievin in the old labels? Is it because the the others were not as old? Why did they specifically put Vievin on Blanchot? I don't know. Uh, I think it's a marketing idea, maybe. <laughs> but uh, but uh, in the in the past, uh, often uh, for the cuvée Vieilleville, like Blanchot or Montmilieu, the the previous owner put more uh, oak in the in the cuvée. Okay. okay. Donc, I think it's for the consumer you. You, you know that uh, the consumer uh, do um, uh, a match Vieivin oak, okay? Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a possibility. I don't, I don't know. Okay. But, uh, How much but, oak did they use in the old uh, Blanchot? Uh, now or before? Before. Before, I don't know, but uh, I think each year uh, they put a uh, few new barrels, okay? Because uh, new barrels. The, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, now when I, I, I taste some uh, old Blanchot, uh, I smell the, the toast. Yeah, the toasty, uh, the oaky. It's, it's, it's good, but it, I think Blanchot, it's a very fine terroir, very elegant. And uh, I want to preserve the, the freshness, the, the, feminine, the feminine style, okay? I, I, I think the, the oak is better with the Leclo or Vaudésir or, or the Grand Cru, okay? We, we have the chance to, to have uh, many Grand Cru. No, yeah, I can uh, I can uh, use uh, different uh, type of uh, vinification. Okay. Right, 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 right. And and Blanchot, it's uh, white soil you mentioned. Um, does that give it more minerality, or or you think it's uh, you know what 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 special character does the white soil give it? Yeah, I think in in the old French, uh, Blanchot. Uh, in, in French, white, it it's, white. A, yeah. it's a blanc, okay? On Blanchot, mm. Blanchot uh, it's uh, very uh, near to, to, to blanc. Donc, the, the soil, it's a characteristic of the name, I, I think. Like Preuse, it's a stone, okay? But mm. uh, Blanchot, uh, the, the, characteristic, the characteristic of the soil, it's, uh, it's a soil... Uh, it's a dry soil, okay? When the, the, the rain, it's, uh, it's rare, the, the soil of Blanchot uh, don't like that, okay? It's a very dry, dry uh, soil. 
Mm. And uh, I think that the reason Blanchot it's very very elegant than uh, like uh, than uh, Monte Tanner. You know, it's very very mineral. I think Blanchot it's a more mineral Grand Cru in Chablis. Okay. Okay. Great. You you have a, you have an example of the soil of Chablis with a, a lot of uh, exogira virgula, the small oyster. Okay, mm, if, you, mm, if you know mm, that. Mm, yeah. Voilà, the key meridian soil. Okay. The larger, yeah. mm. After that, we have uh, Vaudésir today, if you want. Okay. Alors, Vaudésir, we have uh, three, three plots at the domain. Three plots. Two, two plots in the north side exposition, okay, and one plot in the south side. Okay, it's a uh, okay. Bodesir, it's like an amphitheatre, okay. And uh, the north side exposition, it's more fresh, okay. On the south, it's more uh, ripe, more, uh, more solar uh, exposition. Mm -hmm. the, the average of the, of the vine in uh, Vaudésir for, for the domain, it's uh, 38 years old, okay. It's less than Blanchot, okay. but, it's, but it's not bad. <laughs> when when do you think it's uh, 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 the prime years? You know, is it twenty twenty five thirty onwards? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, um, when you arrive at uh, twenty five thirty years old, you you have a, a very great quality on your on your joys. It's it's okay. better. Oh. I have a problem with uh, ah okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so tell us about the uh, the soil of uh, Vaudésir. Donc Vaudésir, it's more um, it's more uh, clay than um, than Blanchot. You have a brown brown clay, okay, and um, you have a, a, a good uh, complexity because um, you have. Uh, the feminine style, okay, the, the purity, and the powerful, okay. You have the both in the in this cuvee, and uh, the soil it's it looks like more than the Côte d'Or uh, soils, okay. Um, brown brown clay with uh, little pebbles, um, it's 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 uh, it's less uh, clear than Monte Tonnerre or Blanchot, okay. Okay. And uh, for this cuvee in 2008, uh, I have uh, one uh, one new oak on this on this cuvee. Okay, is that the reason the, the smell like um, uh, toasty? Okay. So it's but one barrel, and and um, how many how many? Uh, for uh, for two for for twenty hectoliters in in uh, twenty hectoliters okay okay it's like uh, ten ten percent okay less ten percent right okay right and uh, I, I'm sure in the few years uh, in the in the wild uh, the, the the taste uh, will disappear will to when get married open. yeah I think yeah. Mm. You, you smell the, the powerful of, the, of this wine. Mm. Good nose. Mm. But it's not that oaky. I mean, it's, there's just a, a light toast. There's not a very strong, uh, strong yes. dominant force in the wine. Yes, because at the domain, the philosophy, it's, uh, it's uh, respecting the, the terroir, okay? Each, each so why don't, why don't you use like one-year-old, one-year-old oak or, or even older ones? If you just want a small hint. Exactly. It's just for the, the pinch of, uh, of salt, okay? It's... Uh, it's uh, it's 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 like a blend, okay, for the Bordeaux mm. uh, region. Or, okay, we we have uh, a percentage in the vat, a percentage in the barrel. Mm. Depend mm. depend the volume at the at the start at the harvest. Okay, right, right, um, right sure. In eighteen, 
uh, we have a, a good volume, okay, we we can put some uh, some barrel, or you 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 can uh, you can try something, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So Vaudez here would be what the the uh, an early uh, Grand Cru to drink or a later Grand Cru to drink. I think it's you can drink earlier than uh, than Blanchot, but uh, but if you can wait uh, ten years, it's it's uh, it will be fabulous. Uh, all, all the Grand Cru is the same. You you have uh, a big complexity after after aging. Okay, at, mm. at the start, at the beginning, you you have the fruit only only the fruit. But uh, after you have uh, many many other uh, components. Okay, you have the yeah. spicy. You have the 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 oine, the acacia oine. Uh, mm. It's. Um, I think you, you know uh, what is it, uh, the old uh, Chablis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh... No, and you, you very kindly opened a bottle of, uh, was it 2000 Les Clos last time I came? It was last year or two, two years ago. 2000. That was, uh, that was fabulous. Fabulous. 2000, uh, 2002, 2000, 2004. Yeah. It's uh, at this moment. It's, it's a dream. Uh, it's a dream, it's a dream. exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not American dream, but it's a it's a dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Chablis dream. Chablis dream, exactly. <laughs> and uh, for for finishing the, this tasting, uh, we can taste uh, Lépreuse. Yeah, uh, Lépreuse. It's uh, only one parcel at the domain. Uh, the parcel uh, has uh, seventy years old. This year, seventy. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. seventy, and uh, it's my favorite because it's uh, always complete. You have uh, all uh, the the fineness, the complexity, the powerful. It's yeah. a very very high level of uh, of grand cru, lépreuse for me. And uh, for this vintage, I don't use uh, barrel, only vats. Because uh, at the start I have the, the volume for one watt, and during okay. the during the aging, uh, I, I like to discuve uh, like that. Donc I don't put a barrel. And, uh, I so is it a new barrel or is it an old barrel? I I don't put a barrel for this cuvee. Oh no for, barrel. No barrel. Yeah, it's a, no it's the exception in the in the in the Grand Cru 2018. Okay. Okay. It's pure. Right. And so um, for this wine, uh, normally you put how much uh, in barrels? It's a it's, uh, small percentage, like uh, 5, 20%. Okay. It's, it just, okay. Uh, it just uh, I, I want to yeah. keep the, the purity of the terroir. And the the barrel can uh, give uh, some um, a little more complexity, okay. But I don't uh, I don't want to put two two barrel, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How big is the vineyard again for for um, Forty forty hours. Okay. Four zero forty. Well, forty. Okay, mm. that's not bad. Mm. It's not That's bad, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, almost I'm half, a... half a hectare, right? Exactly. I, I'm yeah, agree yeah, with yeah. you. It, it's not bad, but um, <laughs> if we have more, it's it's better. It's so. uh, yeah. It's never <laughs> enough. I understand. Exactly. Okay. Great. So, um, please update me with uh, Le Clo. Is that still being replanted? Exactly. We 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 replanted Le Clos in two thousand seventeen. Right. So have you? Will you be planting the, uh, next year, or when will you plant? Plant. We we plant uh, seventeen. We was oh, already. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you will start making wine uh, soon. You think? I think uh, the next year we we can have a few few grapes, okay, 
but uh, maybe in two years it's uh, it's okay. We'll be we we start to 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 producing. Okay. No, people are always asking, you know, because they they look forward mm. to uh, to to having the domains lay close. Yeah, it's a, now for, for the 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 waiting period. I I do a exchange with another yes. producer. Yes, I, I exchange uh, Monte Tonnerre. Okay, we we sold a few few barrels, two or three barrels of Monte Tonnerre, and oh, one, uh, one or three or three the the same volume. Three for three. Okay, but we we put more money at the end oh, okay, okay. because it's not the same <laughs> it's not the same price. Okay, yes. but uh, it's the same volume. Okay, okay it's good. it's for, it's for keeping the the appellation uh, in the in the range of the domain. But uh, when the when the vines uh, will be uh, produced normally, we stop the the exchange. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, thank you so much for the, thank you. For the tasting. Thank you to you. I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry for my bad English. Uh, I'm no, 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 it's fine. It's mm-hmm. totally sorry. fine. Sorry. But I look um, forward to uh, seeing you at the Domaine, uh, hopefully next year when we get to travel again. As you want, you are, you are welcome. You are always welcome uh, in Chablis. Okay. Thank you, Olivier. Thank you to you and uh, see all the you. best. Have a Thank have you. a good uh, end of the year period. Have a good uh, holiday also. Thank Thank you to you and and take care. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Paolo. Bye. See you. See you. Bye.